Hello everyone, I am Jacked and recently I discovered a comment on my latest video from user ZZ on YouTube, asking me if I could possibly make a video on how to set up Kingsfield with an emulator. They also mentioned not being tech savvy and how they wish they could play the games. It is my opinion simply put that emulation is a wonderful thing. I have many reasons but not the time to speak on them. At the end of the day, I simply want to see the Kingsfield community flourish by any means necessary. With what ZZ had said, I took this to heart as I wholeheartedly believe nobody should ever be kept from playing these magnificent games. So this is for you ZZ. Also, I will be showing how to use a PlayStation 3 controller, the DualShock 3, on the emulator, as using this on a PC can be quite the pain. Also as a side note, I'm trying a different style here and it'll be a more straightforward tutorial without the usual flair. Enjoy! Download the file linked in the description. This holds everything you'll need for this video. Click on the downloaded file, highlight, drag, and drop the file to your desktop. Open the folder. Here we have the emulator, as well as a program that will allow us to use a DualShock 3 controller. This was a special request from user ZZ on YouTube. Open the MedNafN folder, navigate to MedNaf and open. Here you see our Kingsfield games displayed. In the Global Settings tab, you can set up various things within the emulator, of which I will not be going over as it's fairly self-explanatory. For this video, we will be focusing on the Sony PlayStation console. I recommend setting Default Region to NA and checking the box above this titled Attempt to Auto Detect Region of Game. The BIOS below should be set up already. If not, simply click open next to each tab and go to the firmware folder within the emulator folder you downloaded. Match the BIOS up with the ones listed in the tab. Now back at the games list, everything should be set. Let's see if it will run for us. Perfect. Now to set up the DualShock 3 controller. Plug in your DualShock 3 controller. Back to the original folder. We will now instead go into the DualShock 3 folder. Click on the X64 folder as most of you likely are to have an X64 system. Click on the DSHID mini folder. Locate the DSHID Mini and IG Filter apps. They are easy to spot as under the Type tab you'll see that they are the only ones named Setup Information. Right click on and install both of them. Without this, the computer will not recognize the DualShock 3 in the next step. Moving back now, we want to click on the DSHMC application. If it says no compatible device is found, simply close the application and disconnect your DualShock 3. Then reconnect the controller and reopen the application. Now your controller is ready to be used, but first we must assign the inputs for the controller in the emulator. Navigate back to the MedNafN emulator settings. Simply double click in the key boxes and press the corresponding buttons on the controller. Now that that is done, let's see if it works.
perfect. I appreciate you watching until the very end. I really hope this helped you obtain that nostalgia you were missing. Keep in mind that this, of course, can be used for any PS1 game, and how you obtain the BenQ files for your favorite PS1 game is really only a Google search away. Furthermore, my choice to use the MedNaffin emulator was solely based on it being my favorite one of them all for PS1 games. It runs closest to the actual PS1 speed while also keeping the picture nice and clear. I hope you are all doing amazing, and as always, don't forget to say hi.